Hey, it's Sean and Mike from RootAshDudes.com. This is the follow-up to our glass uh, video where we just talked about, you know, a whole bunch of beer glasses, but we didn't have any beer in them. And uh, now we're going to actually... Battle Royale. ...see <laughs> if these glasses actually do what, you know, we think they do, I mean, which is to accentuate different experiences for different beers. Now, I came over and uh, was told not that much information, except for that on my left, your right, that there is lager, a lager, same lager in both glasses. One is in the more of the uh, what we think are the Pilsner or the like, tall Pilsner glass. style glass. Yeah, style glass. And then we have the old uh, American pint glass right next to it. So let's see if we get some different experience from the lager style. Go for it. In here. And then, and then on the right hand side, my right, your left. Um, this is some kind of aroma forward beer. Aroma forward beer. Okay. Take your best guess. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, oh boy. Uh, and then- You're in the wrong beer. I know, I know. Just, you got me excited. You always, all right. So listen, we Ooh, have a uh, beer. We have, again, another uh, American style pint glass with a, a tulip, which should be pointing those uh, aromas towards my nose. And so I should be able to perceive them differently, if not uh, yep. more splendidly. We'll see. So you're drinking. So I'm going to start tasting the lagers and see if I can somehow perceive a difference between the same beer. Yeah, go for appearance, aroma, and flavor. Okay. Tell me. Well, I will start, I'll start with appearance. So tell me again, you know, is this, this is, just, this is, I will, just, I will, I'll hone you in a little bit. This right. is an American craft light craft. lager. Craft, okay. I don't even like using that word. This is an American light lager of some sort. It is one of my favorites. You might be able to tune in there, but it's one of my favorites. Um, interestingly enough, in both glasses, there is a, a, a subtle amount of haze. Yeah. Right? It's not a crystal clear lager, but um, I guess that's how like American craft lager brewers get away with it. Yeah. Right? Because it's, you know, they're not filtering it, they're not doing whatever, but it's got, um, okay. you know. I detect a difference between the two glasses, actually. I was, like, really surprised. Is this, night, I'm curious. Is this a I, night shift beer? Look at that. This is one of my favorite beers. This night shift, night light. Night light. I totally recommend in the summer months, if you are in the, in the market where, where uh, night shift uh, distributes this beer, night shift, night life is an excellent beer. They also have another version of this called uh, night heavy which is also really good. Mm. But anyway, Night Light is a great light beer for me. I love it. I pulled it out because you, you nailed it. You nailed it. Um, but what's the glassware doing for you, sir? I wish I, I wish I, um, outside of just- They uh, were poured fresh yeah. right before you walked in the I door. I know. Mm. I, I mean, outside of like the actual presentation of, of, um, of this, I mean, I, I wish it were, yeah, like you said, the American uh, Pilsner here. Yep, yep. Because it's cloudy, it's kind of like, meh. If this were a crystal clear beer, maybe that'd be like, oh, this is kind of uh, giving my eyes like. I think it would be you know, slightly something. lighter in color than this in terms yeah. of because of the slenderness of it. Sure. Um, but, um, but is there anything that stands out between two glasses? Because I get something noticeable between the two glasses. Um, hold on. May, uh, I, I did detect something there. For me, I, I'm actually this completely is a little more now. Maybe I'm, uh, but this seems a little more spritzy. This like the uh, okay. carbonation. Yeah. This, it's it's gentler on my mm -hmm. palate, and it's like making me want to like. Yeah, maybe the um, the the fluid dynamics of the the, the decarbonation upon foaming in the wider bottom than this yeah. probably has a as a thing. Interesting. This particular lager itself, it's not really holding much head. No, it's not. Right? No. I mean, I and like, I literally poured it as you're coming down the stairs. Yeah. Um, for me. Between the two, you ready to hear what I get? Go ahead, please. I actually, strangely enough, get more of a sulfur or log, lager note out of this glass than I do huh. here. Hmm. I actually get that that lager aroma, that sulfur aroma in the Pilsner glass, and it's totally absent in this glass for me. Crazy, for me. yeah, totally yeah, absent. Yeah. I'm with you. I, um, actually, I just got a whiff there. You know, if I yeah. maybe if I stir this one up a little yeah. bit. Um, I wasn't getting a lot of aroma. I get it. If I, if I force it to decarbonate by shaking it, get some more aroma pushed out of it, mm. I get the sulfur. But as they just sit, yeah. this one continually is giving me um, 
sulfur aroma. Yeah. But a pleasant lager sulfur aroma. Not, not yeah, yeah, not, thing. yeah, not so. Um, so what do you think? Yay or nay? It makes a difference. Eh, I think with a, maybe a different lager or a different pilsner, I think my eyes would uh, trick me into thinking this was a for appearance. A, yes, for appearance okay. would be a better experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for this particular uh, beer, uh, I'm not getting uh, much of a difference between the aroma in this in this uh, glass versus this one. Okay. Um, it's you know now as as uh, there's more headspace maybe between mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. the liquid there. Yeah. Maybe there's something, but the initial you know sips and just yep. my initial uh, takes on it, I was like, yeah, there's not really much difference. But yeah, again, for me, for me, go. for some reason, it's yeah. it's night and day. So. Mm. But anyway, that's great. There's something um, about the there is something about the the mouthfeel. I'll say this is still okay. I think that probably would be carbonation related, mm -hmm. right? If, mm -hmm. if if some of the the, the carbonation is being held here because of a smaller base and um, uh, just the way the pills and glass is supposed to work from that st standpoint, it give you like these cascades of yeah. bubbles at a slower rate than than this class. It could also just be these two physical glasses that maybe these pint glasses being pint glasses that get stacked. There's more nucleation sites, and so the carbonation has decarbonated faster than this glass did. These are relatively, uh, you know, virgin glasses, yep. glass yep. itself, and that would hold carbonation better because the, the CO2 wouldn't be coming out as yep. quickly. But yeah, so this one was definitely smoother. So on the way down, I would come back to this more often than this. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. all right. All right. Very good. Lager Very good. beer. Aroma heavy beer. Aroma <laughs> heavy beer. Could it be a New England style IPA? It might be. But look at that color, look at that lack of haze. What do you think? Oh what do my. you think? Oh uh -huh. that's the that's the pint version. Here's the tulip God. version. That's it smells wonderful. You won't you won't guess this one. No, I probably I'm, won't. You know, and I'm saying that just to, to make you think it's actually something really weird. <sighs> it's probably But you're gonna be like really upset that you didn't peg it. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you this, it's not a night shift beer. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um oh tasty treats. These are tasty treats. Yeah. They are. I'm, I'm tasting the, uh, the tulip now. Yep. Hmm. Well, let me go back to the aroma because, I mean, <laughs> it was just wonderful off of the uh, the tulip there. Yeah, it's a different experience for me. Um, on aroma. On the aroma. Yeah. I find in both cases with the pint glass, I have to like go in there <laughs> to get it. Yeah, right. Right? Like I'm really diving in there. And to get the sip, I'm yeah, tilting the glass towards me. Here, I'm getting it right about yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. So that works. I mean, that yep. that aspect of it works. That's I think. Um, yeah. So for me, on both cases, aroma is enhanced with the glass shape, glass style. Mm. As for the beer itself, it's great. I don't know what it. I don't know this one. Mm. But you do. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure I do. Wow. This is a great opportunity for us to actually use a little commercial beer on the channel, which yeah, we don't, I know we don't, we don't do, do, do lot, all so. that much. Um, so, what do you think? Is it all aroma? Do you get a little flavor difference? Do you get? Um, There's a little. Uh, well, hold on. I haven't really perceived. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get a double Again, shot. Again, so can I ask a question? You can ask all the questions you okay, want. Okay, so it's a learning session. So you bought probably cans of both beers. Yeah. Do uh, they sell beers in bottles anymore? Nah, probably <laughs> not, no. <laughs> uh, but I'm saying like this is from one can, this is from another. Uh, it's a mix of cans because a can filling glass. Fill, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I mean, there's a little more I mean, bite. the cans are all coming from the same four pack, so. True. Um, and that, there's not going to be much difference between mm -hmm. those cans. I was getting a little more of um, hop Bite. Bite? Yeah, off of the uh, the pine glass. That's interesting. It's, uh, it's again, it's just, yeah, it's maybe mm. just a perception. Of I it. do personally feel like there's just a subtle amount of more carbonation living here mm. than there is here at post the port, um, which then changes the way it perceives. I get a lot more pine here mm. than I do over here yep. a little bit, but, um, but I I'm think I'm splitting straws from a flavor standpoint. It really is an aroma thing for me. All right. See, I'm like going through my little Rolodex in my yeah. head, trying to figure out what beer this is. Oh, what is. beer it is? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Is Maybe it, I shouldn't challenge with the beer, so you could focus on the I aesthetics. Know. Is it, is of the it beer. local to our area? Semi-local, yeah. Meaning like New it's England. Not New England, yep. Okay, so Vermont. You're getting warmer. Oh, Maine. No, no. Oh. Vermont, you're getting warmer. I'm it's getting in Vermont. Warmer. It I'm is in, in Vermont. The right state. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, you ready? You yeah, want to see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. See it. Yeah. 
Is it Fiddlehead? No, no, uh, no, no. I Ready? Had some, I had some Fiddlehead last. Oh, Sip of Sunshine. Sip of Sunshine. All right. So, turn that around. Oh, yep, yep. same thing it's on, on both sides. sides. You know? What do you think I'm an amateur here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, I see it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they see yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Sip of Sunshine. Yeah, right. uh, I was really extra. I hadn't had it in a long time. When yeah. I poured it out, I'm like, oh, it's actually kind of amberish. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, sure. it's like. It's more of like an orange, and it's actually not all that hazy. Mm. Interesting enough. And as I was pouring the first one, I was like, oh, is this supposed to be haze in here? How old are these cans? And I swirled it a little bit just in case there's something in there. Nope. But no, this is how Sip of Sunshine actually pours and looks. Uh, Mind-blowing. It's just been a while since I've had it. Yep. Um, I remember yep. people going crazy over it like 10 or 12 years ago when we were at a couple of beer fests. So yeah. um, Sip of Sunshine, ne had never heard of it. Um, I've, probably, I've drank plenty of it, but uh, it's interesting to pour it out and go, uh, it's actually an orange color. I haven't beer. had it's this not beer like, in years. Yeah, me, neither have I. So, like um, I'm saying like two years now. Like I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna do a real curveball and get the um, the session version of this. The the um, whatever the, the, there's a blue can. It's something sunshine, but it's like sessions. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But um, this, I think people could recognize this more so on the yeah, channel. Yeah. So yeah. that's great. Um, I, I so for me, both glasses. Um, the specialty glass for me, aroma is definitely the case. Maybe in the IPA, I get a little bit of a flavor enhancement with this glass. Yeah. With no, glass I'm with change. you. I'm with you. I still, I feel like I can, I can start detecting aroma. Yeah, right away. It, right away, yeah. right close to my, like before yeah. I even bring it to my nose. Yeah. This takes a little while. Yeah. Um, and even when it's right to my nose, I feel like again I need to like plunge the nostrils into it, and that's just not good yeah, yeah. for anybody. No, it's not. It's no. not. Um, but I. So I mean. The, so the other aspect which we talked about before is there's also just an intangible like oh isn't that pretty like yeah there's an intangible thing that maybe even that is triggering triggering a bias towards better experience because sure. it's fancier it's, it just feels good in your hand I mean sometimes I just drink water out of these glasses or you used or you go to a restaurant you have coke in these glasses yeah. you know soda and stuff and it just you're just so used to this that then when you see something like this, it's like, oh, this must must be a premium experience because it's, it's a different glass, right? You know? Mm. Yeah, true. As we both take a big aroma. I know. At the I'm, same time, I'm uh, I'm 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 digging it. It's great. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm surprised. Appreciate it. I'm surprised. Yeah. I was like a naysayer, like, well, I know it'll be something, and I always I just felt it would be more psychological than it would be yeah. actual physical, but at least aroma wise. Yes, I, I get it. I think that's where it is, and then I, I'm not really sure if I can uh, say with uh, uh, all the you know weight of the uh, words that I'm putting through in terms of flavor, because mm -hmm. I don't you know that could be just something I'm trying yeah. like I'm trying to like piece something together in my yeah. mind, but the aroma you like physically if I have the glass here and I can detect it and yeah. physically I need to do like that's yeah. different that yeah. that is something that is concrete and we can say. That that this glass does a good sure. job at you know showcasing those um, those aromas. I forgot there was some guy who who uh, commented on our channel about these that that uh, flaws like mm -hmm. in the in the bigger uh -huh. uh, versions of these glasses he can detect flaws in in like pilsners a lot. Oh better. really? Yeah. Which is better. probably an aroma driven thing. And aroma and taste are so closely sure. related that. Sure. Maybe that helps. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, I'm glad I was able to pick up. I guess I've had um, more uh, night shift <laughs> in recent, you know, times yeah. than I have had sip of sunshine. But uh, good choices. Uh, I appreciate uh, the, you know, the hop forward aroma, and then like for this, you know, more of uh, I craft guess, lager. Yeah, like a malty, you know, aroma thing going yeah. on. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. So, and especially because we have Pilsner style glasses, yeah. we wanted to see how the Pilsner was actually going to perform. Um, awesome. Hopefully this is a great pairing of our just like overview of some beer glasses, not certainly not all the beer glasses in the world, but uh, to put it to the test and to, you know, have this outcome, I'm pretty proud of it. So I appreciate you picking up the beers and pouring them out and making me wait upstairs <laughs> until everything was ready so that uh, not too much was revealed. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because this just gives us the feedback that we need to keep going each and every week as we post these kinds of videos. For John and Mike, 